Hello, Ray. This, hi. I'm Bob Frederick here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Ray Allen. Bobby and I have known each other a long time. We used to go to the same gym together. It was a lot different back then, though, too. I mean, we had 10 clubs back then. Uh, and even how many resorts did we have back then? Uh, Peter, yeah. he, he, Peter bought Murphy's Resort and turned it into a, a, a small place called Fife's. So you figure a campsite, if you had four people, you had 400 in the campground, and you could have another uh, 100 and something in the rooms. Summer's here and the heat is on. Escape to Fife's. Sad days. When I first moved up here in 81, started, I think, the AIDS yeah. epidemic was like in 81. And it seems like the majority of people that were moving up here back then were moving up here to die. And so we've lost so many special souls. I mean, I lost two partners to it. And I'm HIV, but I'm a long-time survivor and healthy. Well, gay and lesbian were way far apart at one time. And then with the health crisis and the lesbians were helping to take care of uh, the gay people, that helped bring them all together. It's a very, very strong community here. It's, it's amazing how giving it is. My whole goal with, with Give Back Tuesday was to bridge the gap between the two communities, you know, and make people aware that, you know, we're on this planet together. We need to help each other. It doesn't matter your sexuality. We don't care about yours, and you shouldn't care about ours. And it's just to help each other. My name is Carrie Kemp, and we are at the fabulous Bia Cafe in Monte okay. Rio, California. Just a coffee today, Eric? Thank you, sir. I didn't migrate to the river because it was gay, okay? I've been coming up to the river since I'm like eight years old. I have a picture of myself and my mother on Johnson's Beach in 1958. This is the place where the San Francisco blue collar wor workers came. Then I met Torch in 1983-84, and Torch lived up here. So that's how I happened to come up. We knew what AIDS was. And we knew we needed to be down there on the grounds and in the trenches. Sonoma County had the third highest rate of AIDS per capita in the nation. We had very high IV drug use and we had a high gay population. A man living with AIDS, his name was John Daniel Manley. And he said to me, you know what they need is a food bank here. And I already came up with a name for it. What is that? And he said, food for thought. We're all looking for something to do. You know, we needed to be a part of it. The leather community, the drag queens and the dykes were doing everything. They were doing everything for the AIDS movement and the men were too sick. And the straight people were afraid. But here it was, this little microcosm, this little freaking place, what we called Gurneyville for so long, has a place with a straight woman with AIDS, with a straight man, a gay man, no AIDS, a dyke and another dyke. And one of the dykes happens to be famous in the little gay world over there. And these five people that we were, myself, Torch, Betsy Van Dyke, Sid Smith, Tom Walters, we were fearless, fearless. You know, we really had this customer service loving feeling that going out. We really, really, really cared about that. Hello, my name is Sister Sparkle Plenty. They call me the nun too bright. I'm Mike, but I'm also Sister No Vanilla. Well, we started in 2001 um, as the Russian River Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence we saw a need on the river for sisters who would minister to people visiting from big cities. The Russian River has always been a vacation paradise, and lots and lots of gay people were coming up, and there were issues with gay people's health. When we first started, we had decided that there would be no hierarchy, there would be no mother superior, and we were all equals from the very beginning, and we've kept it that way. Sister Nova started a bingo game. The first beneficiaries were the HIV AIDS organizations locally, but because bingo was every month, we ran out of those HIV AIDS organizations. We decided to open it up to um, groups like the seniors, the firefighters, the sheriff's department, 4-H. And within a few months, all these different factions, they're all of a sudden sitting at tables, sharing baby pictures, laughing, telling stories, all these friendships are being built up and it was incredible to see, I'm getting goosebumps it was incredible to see all these barriers coming down it's just been an awesome experience to be able to bring other people to our world so to speak